let us consider this problem it is given that this is a pdf and if it is a pdf you are supposed to find the constant value k such that probability of x less than or equal to k is equal to probability of x greater than or equal to k that is k is the median value okay so to do this first of all you should find the value of a right the constant a it is given that the function is a pdf probability density function since f of x is a pdf probability density function when you integrate f over the entire range what is the entire range 0 to 1 the answer should be 1 that is integral 0 to 1 a x into 1 minus x dx is 1 a into integral 0 to 1 x minus x square dx is equal to 1 a when you integrate x it is x square by 2 let us put the range and for x square when it is integrated it is x cube by 3 and the range is from 0 to 1 1 by 2 is taken out 1 square is 1 minus 0 square is 0 1 by 3 into 1 cube is 1, 0 cube is 0. The answer should be equal to 1. So I get A into 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 1. Which implies A into, let us take 6 as the LCM. So 3, 2 into 3 is 6, 3 ones are 3. 3 into 2 is 6, 2 ones are 2 is equal to 1. So you have a into 1 by 6 is equal to 1. So a is equal to 6. So the first step is over. We have uh, computed the value of a which is equal to 6. Let us come to the original question. Probability of x less than or equal to k is equal to probability of x greater than or equal to k. Listen, x less than or equal to k means lower limit to k. Fine. f of x should be integrated. x greater than or equal to k means k to upper limit of the problem which is 1. f of x should be integrated. And if you do so, the answer will be the same which implies integral 0 to k what is your f of x ax into 1 minus x and a is 6 so 6x into 1 minus x dx is equal to integral k to 1 6x into 1 minus x dx throughout the range 0 to 1 it is ax into 1 minus x 6 the constant 6 on either side can be cancelled so you have integral 0 to k x minus x square dx and here integral k to 1 x minus x square dx. Let us integrate this. You have x square by 2 the limit is from 0 to k. x cube by 3 after integration the limit is from 0 to k and here x square by 2 the limit is from k to 1 x cube by 3 the limit is from k to 1 so now so let us substitute uh, the limits the upper limit k square minus 0 1 by 3 into upper limit k cube minus lower limit 0 cube upper limit 1 square is 1 minus k square Upper limit 1 cube is 1 minus k cube. So you have k square by 2 minus k cube by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 minus k square by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus k cube by 3.
fine. To find the value of this k, let us bring all the terms to one side. k square by 2 by k cube by 3 minus 1 by 2 plus k square by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus k cube by 3 is equal to 0. So we have k square by 2 plus k square by 2 is k square k cube by 3 minus k cube by 3. You have 2 times of k cube by 3 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 0. Let us have 6 as the LCM. So we have 6k square minus 2 times when it is multiplied you get 4k cube minus 3 plus 2 equal to 0. So we have minus 4k cube plus 6k square minus 1 is equal to 0. 6 when multiplied becomes 0. Now you should find the value of k. Right? So let us uh, try some arbitrary values. Let us uh, have let k is equal to half. What will you get? Minus 4k cube plus 6k square minus 1. Let us compute. Minus 4 into 1 by 2 cube plus 6 into 1 by 2 square minus 1. That is minus 4 by 8 plus 6 by 4 minus 1. You get minus 4 plus 12 minus 8 is equal to 0. So k is equal to half is satisfying this equation. Therefore k equal to 1 by 2 is a root. But it is a cubic equation right. You will have two more roots. Let us identify those roots also and then come to the conclusion. See the equation is minus 4k cube plus 6k square minus 1 is equal to 0. Let us use synthetic division minus 4, 6. The coefficient of k is 0. The independent term is the constant term is 1. Now uh, let us divide it by 1 by 2. Minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4 half into minus 4 is minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 half into 4 is 2 half into half 2 is 1 you get 0 so what is the uh, this is actually the cubic equation so now you get a factor the factor is minus 4k square plus 4k plus 2 into k minus half is equal to 0 is the implication. So minus 4k square plus 4k plus 2 is equal to 0 or k, is equal, k minus half is equal to 0. When the product is 0, either one of them should be equal to 0. Now let us find the value of k for this quadratic expression. You know you can use the formula minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac 16 32 minus into minus becomes plus divided by 2a 2 times of this ok r k is equal to half so you get k is equal to minus 4 plus r minus square root of 48 divided by minus 8 or k is equal to half. Yes. So you get um, minus 4 by minus 8. You can write it as equal to half. Minus 4 plus r minus 4 root 3 by minus 8 or k is equal to half. When you cancel this, you get uh, 1 by 2 plus r minus root 3 by 2.
are k is equal to half. To be more precise, your k is 1 minus root 3 by 2 or 1 plus root 3 by 2 or 1 by 2. But see these two values cannot be accepted because they are not in the range 0 to 1. 1 minus root 3 by 2 or 1 plus root 3 by 2, they are not in the range 0 to 1. So only this value can be accepted. So we come to the conclusion that probability of x less than or equal to k is equal to probability of x greater than or equal to k when k is equal to half. root 3 by 2 plus 1 becomes 1.86 and 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 becomes 0 0.13 sorry 1 minus root 3 by 2 becomes minus 0 0.36 so these two values lie outside the range so, these two values cannot be accepted. So, you take this value. Okay. So, we have found the value of K. Thank you.